Hi everyone welcomes back to my channel, today we will discuss about interview questions for candidates in the maintenance department, what is the primary role of the maintenance department in a pharmaceutical company, the primary role is to ensure that all equipment and systems are operating efficiently, safely, and in compliance with regulatory standards to maintain product quality and avoid downtime. Can you explain GMP, good manufacturing practices, and its relevance to maintenance? GMP ensures that products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. Maintenance ensures equipment used in production complies with GMP to avoid contamination and maintain product integrity. How do you prioritize maintenance tasks in a busy pharmaceutical environment? Tasks are prioritized based on criticality. I assess the impact of equipment failure on production, compliance, and safety, focusing first on high-risk areas. What are the types of maintenance strategies? Which one do you prefer and why? The main types are corrective, preventive, predictive, and reliability-centered maintenance. I prefer preventive maintenance as it reduces unexpected downtime and ensures compliance with regulatory requirements, what are SOPs, standard operating procedures, and how do they relate to your work, SOPs provide detailed instructions to perform maintenance tasks in a consistent, compliant manner. They ensure all work aligns with GMP and quality standards, what experience do you have with calibration and validation? I have extensive experience in calibrating and validating equipment like autoclaves, HVAC systems, and production machinery to ensure compliance with FDA and GMP requirements. How do you handle an equipment breakdown during a critical production process? I assess the problem, communicate with the production team, and attempt to resolve it quickly. If immediate repair isn't possible, I implement temporary solutions while planning a full repair. Can you explain the function of HVAC systems in pharmaceutical facilities? HVAC systems control temperature, humidity, and air quality to maintain clean room standards and prevent contamination in production areas. What tools and technologies have you used for predictive maintenance? I've used vibration analysis, thermography, and condition monitoring software to predict and prevent equipment. Failures how do you ensure that maintenance records are complete and accurate? By maintaining detailed logs of all maintenance activities, using CMMS, computerized maintenance management systems, and regularly auditing records. What is the importance of calibration in the pharmaceutical industry? Calibration ensures that instruments provide accurate and reliable measurements, which is critical for maintaining product quality and regulatory compliance. How would you deal with a deviation related to equipment failure? I would investigate the root cause, document the deviation, implement corrective actions, and prevent recurrence by revising procedures if necessary. What steps do you take to maintain clean room equipment, regular cleaning, preventive maintenance? Calibration and ensuring compliance with clean room SOPs are essential. Describe your experience with regulatory audits. I have participated in FDA and WHO audits, ensuring maintenance documentation, calibration, and validation records are accurate and ready for inspection. What safety measures do you follow during maintenance? Lockout tagout, personal protective equipment, proper isolation of equipment, and adherence to safety protocols. Can you explain the concept of total productive maintenance, TPM? TPM focuses on maximizing equipment efficiency through proactive and preventive maintenance while involving all employees. How do you monitor and improve the performance of maintenance activities? By tracking key performance indicators, KPIs, like mean time to repair, MTTR, and mean time between failures, MTBF. And analyzing trends for improvement, how would you handle equipment obsolescence? I would plan for replacements. Identify alternate suppliers and upgrade systems to meet current standards without disrupting production. What are the key components of a preventive maintenance schedule? Equipment inventory. Maintenance intervals, task lists, spare parts availability, and resource planning. 
explain your approach to troubleshooting an automated system failure, analyze error codes, check sensors and actuators, review system logs, and consult technical manuals or OEM support as needed, how do you ensure spare parts are available when needed, by maintaining an inventory system, forecasting usage based on historical data, and ensuring critical spares are always stocked, what is your experience with? Utility systems like water purification, I have experience maintaining and validating purified water systems, ensuring compliance with USP standards, how do you train junior technicians in a pharmaceutical maintenance team? By conducting hands-on training, explaining GMP requirements, and mentoring them during real-world maintenance tasks, what is the role of maintenance in preventing cross-contamination, ensuring equipment is clean, calibrated, and functioning properly to prevent contamination between batches or products? How do you conduct a root cause analysis, RCA, for equipment failure, I gather data, analyze failure patterns, use tools like fishbone diagrams or 5Y analysis, and identify the underlying cause to prevent recurrence. How do you manage maintenance during production schedules? By planning maintenance activities during scheduled downtimes or non-peak hours and coordinating with production teams. How do you ensure compliance with environmental regulations? By maintaining equipment like Scrubbers and waste management systems and ensuring emissions and discharges are within permissible limits. What is an IQ, OQ, PQ, and how do they relate to equipment maintenance, installation qualification, IQ? Operational qualification, OQ, and performance qualification, PQ, validate that equipment operates correctly and meets specifications, how do you stay updated on new maintenance technologies and regulations? By attending industry seminars, training sessions, and subscribing to relevant journals and regulatory updates, describe your experience with PLCs and SCADA systems. I have worked on troubleshooting and maintaining PLC and SCADA systems, ensuring smooth operation and resolving. Communication errors, how do you reduce downtime during unplanned maintenance? by maintaining spare parts, having trained staff ready, and using diagnostic tools to quickly identify and resolve issues. Explain the role of lubrication in equipment maintenance, proper lubrication reduces wear, prevents overheating, and extends the lifespan of moving parts, what steps would you take if you noticed non-compliance during maintenance, report it immediately, halt work if necessary, investigate the issue, document findings, and implement corrective actions. What is your experience with ERP or CMMS systems? I have used CMMS for scheduling maintenance, tracking asset history, and generating compliance reports. How do you ensure the maintenance team aligns with quality objectives? By training on GMP requirements, auditing processes, and integrating quality-focused KPIs into team goals. Thank you for watching.